There will be signs in the sun, the moon and the stars. And on the earth nations will be in distress, anxious over the rowing of the sea and the waves. People will faint from uh, fear and the expectation of what is coming upon the world. For the powers of the heavens will be shaken. And then they will see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. Now, when these things begin to take place, stand up and raise your heads, because your redemption is drawing near. Be on guard, so that your hearts are not weighed down with dissipation and drunkenness and the worries of this life. And that day come upon you unexpectedly, like a trap, for it will come upon all who live on the face of the whole earth. Be vigilant at all times, praying, that you may have the strength to escape all these things that will take place, and to stand before the Son of Man. Good morning. Welcome to a short biblical reflection on the Gospel according to Luke, chapter 21, in the lectionary selected verses 21 up to 28, and then 34 up to 36. It is the Gospel reading for the first Sunday of Advent, year C. A similar Gospel reading we had two weeks ago uh, when we were reading from the Gospel according to Mark chapter 13 about the coming of the Son of Man. In fact, both the liturgical year when ends focuses on eschatology, on the last things, and also the beginning of the uh, season of Advent also focuses on uh, eschatology. Now, this time we are reading from the Gospel according to Luke, and those verses are for sure selected purposely in order to stress uh, about the coming of the Son of Man. Uh, however, I would like later on to extend it and to see it in a larger literal context, because here we have few expressions. If we read them as we have now in selected verses, we do not understand them properly. For example, what is that day? That day is only referring to the second coming of Jesus or is it referring to uh, other parts? And this preparation should be only for the coming of the Son of Man at the end of the world or also other things that Jesus mentions which are not included in this Gospel reading. So now let us see the literal context. At the screen you can see some verses are highlighted in yellow. Those are verses included in the lectionary. The other verses are those which are omitted. So the Gospel reading in the lectionary, as those verses are selected, focuses almost exclusively on the second coming of Jesus. However, when we see and read the entirely the text, at least from verse 20, from verse 20 we read about the great desolation. When you see Jerusalem surrounded by armies, then you know that its desolation has come near. In fact, the verb to see is repeated several times. Uh, in our text in the lectionary, it is only once in verse 27, when they see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. But now in verse 20, when you see Jerusalem surrounded by armies, then verses 29 and verses 31, those which are within selected verses which are in the lectionary, see the fig tree and all the trees. And later, when you see these things taking place, you know that the kingdom of God is near. Also, that the things are taking place is, uh, of course, in our last verse that we have in the lectionary, verse 36, that uh, you may escape, the, uh, have the strength to escape all these things that will take place. And in the verse 31, which I quoted before, see these things taking place. You know that the kingdom of God is near. But also, verse 28, the, the one, the first part that we have in the lectionary, these things begin to take place. Stand up and raise up your heads. What are those things? It is not only the second coming of Jesus at the end of the world, but also all the disasters like the great desolation or even persecution, which are even mentioned before the text, the one which I started from verse 20. So as similarly in the Gospel according to Mark, there was this multi-level uh, application interpretation. In the same way we, way we should look at the text of the Gospel according to Luke. 
some of the things which are applying immediately to the generation of the eyewitnesses of Jesus. In fact, the verse which is omitted now in the lectionary, verse 32, this generation will not pass away until all things have taken place. As in concerning the gospel according to Mark, I explain that it applies to any generation, to the first generation of the apostles, to any generation at any time, and the generation of people when Jesus will be coming a second time. But the other line, which is the stress, uh, is uh, the encouragement. Of course, in those verses which are given in the lectionary, they are present because your redemption is uh, drawing near in verse 28, and verses in the second part that you have in lectionary, the one concluding, but be on guard, so that your hearts are not weighed down with dissipation and drunkenness and worries of this life. And verse 36, be vigilant at all times, praying that you may have the strength to escape all these things that will take place to stand before the Son of Man. So apart of mentioning the whole desol desolation and all the disasters, the stress is on being ready and uh, to have hope. So I would like to wish you a nice day, a nice reflection on this gospel reading. God bless you.